Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice, and welcome to Inktober, guys. I am really excited about this month. This is the month of October, and as you guys know, October is set aside for Inktober every single year, and it's where you use ink and your artwork and the things that you create in order to enhance, or maybe you just do ink sketching, or you use ink and wash with watercolors or gouache or markers so there's just so many different medias that you can mix ink with um, in order to do your creations for the month so the way inktober works if you've never heard of it is they give you a prompt or a, a word for every single day of october and you're supposed to do an ink related piece of art to that word for each day um, we are three days into the month of October, um, and I've already done day one and day two, which I'm not going to show because I'm going to wait to the end of October and kind of do an entire Inktober flip through of the sketchbook that I'm using. With that said, let me show you guys some of the things that I'm using. So I wanted to try to keep um, everything in like the um, water soluble inks, um, uh, waterproof inks, um, anything that was an ink-based product because um, I really wanted to just dive into Inktober and, and do it, you know, to its full intensity. So let me show you guys a couple of things I'm going to be using for Inktober. So I have a 12 um, pencil set of Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Um, now, these are ink pencils. There is a full range and a full collection. Durant makes great, great products. Um, these have been on the market for quite some time. So I picked up a 12 pencil set and I've used them before. I haven't done a review on them because I wanted to wait to use them during Inktober. So after Inktober, I will have a review of these coming out. So here is the color swatch sheet for, um, those pencils. So I'm going to be using those great product. I'm also going to be using some, let's show you here some Jane Davenport um, mermaid markers. Now, these are like a water-soluble ink or dye-based um, watercolor that are in water brushes. And now these are a discontinued product. You can't really find them anymore. I've had them for about two and a half, maybe even three years. And I figured now is the perfect time to go ahead and break them out and start using them so I can, you know, make use of those supplies that I already have instead of buying something else. Uh, here is the color swatch for those Jane Davenport Mermaid markers. So we're going to be using those throughout the month. Um, let's see here. I have a 24 count of Fine Line Markers by Master's Touch. Now, these are not waterproof. This is water soluble, but um, they are a ink slash dye based water soluble markers. So um, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun using these to enhance the different projects that I do during the month of October. And lastly, in my little October kit, I have an art bin here with some fine line markers, black fine line markers, and these are all waterproof. Um, I have like a pencil, an eraser, which I had an eraser in here. I don't have it in here anymore. Um, and a gel pen for doing some highlights if I need to. So the pens that I'm using are, I have one by Sharpie. I only have one um, Micron, and this is a 0.05 if I'm not mistaken. Most of the pens I'm gonna be using are by Creative Mark. Um, this is a Jerry Autoramas product. Um, this is their super black fine liner, and it comes in a lot of different nibs. This particular one is 0.25 millimeters, and it goes all the way up to like a large brush that you can use. So I'm going to be using all of those. Those are um, waterproof. And like I said, I have a, a Jelly Roll number 10 here, and then just a Art Pro Pro Elf pencil. And those are all the products that I'm going to be using throughout the month in order to do my Inktober sketches. So, I wanted to get that part out of the way so that we can jump into looking at what we're doing in this video. So, today is the third, as I told you, and the prompt for today is back. 
So I decided I'd do a night scene with the bats flying up in front of the moon. Something really quick and easy, but I still wanted to get my um, Inktober sketch in and make sure I kind of followed the prompts. I will say, um, there is no rule that says you have to follow the prompts because in all honesty, day one was gargoyle and my Inktober sketch for day one was not a gargoyle. It was actually a landscape. Um, day two was scurry. Uh, and I worked that one out the best that I could. And of course, day three is back. And that's what we're going to be doing um, for this video. So I am going, this will be a speed paint. I will let you guys know. I'll try to make sure that it's not moving too fast. It probably won't be as fast as the other speed paints that I have. Um, and I will be voicing over that speed paint. So we are going to go ahead and jump into getting this done. And hopefully you guys will grab your supplies and your products, even if it's just a waterproof black pen and a set of watercolors. You can use that to do all of your Inktober um, sketches in. So don't feel like you need to run out and buy anything because more than likely, as long as you have a waterproof black pen, I guarantee you have other uh, media products that you can use with those black pens in order to do the sketches for October. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this painting and um, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are going to paint along. Okay guys, so as I told you, we are working on day three's prompt and that is bats. And let me ask that you please forgive me for any noise you hear in the background. I am doing this voiceover at a different location other than the studio. So if you hear some background noises, it's probably like cars and trucks is moving by. Um, but I decided that I was going to start this one off a little bit different. I'll go ahead and ink the, everything in first and then add in the um, watercolors. Well, in this case, the Jane Davenport. Uh, mermaid markers which if i'm not mistaken is a water soluble ink inside those pens or at least a dye based like ink paint um so i started off with the i think, I think this is the bottle blue i think that's what it's called um so i'm going to be using blues and uh, brown shade which is called reef i'll be using pirate which is the yellow shade and then peach which is called beach just like a peachy color um, in order to paint this composition in. Instead of using the brushes directly, I took a palette and just used a drop of that ink out of each brush um, on the palette and I'm using it to actually mix and paint with. Now, before the critics jump in on me, yes, I understand that the Mermaid markers are brush pens, so you can use them as pens without using them in this type of palette form. But I have to do what's comfortable for me, and I sure would hope that you guys would do what's comfortable for you. That's not to say that I won't use them in the brush pen form. I just decided not to for this particular painting. So in the background, I used that blue, mixed it with a little bit of the brown in order to get a gray tone color, dab that in to get me sort of a kind of moody looking sky there here for the moon we're going to use the um, yellow tone that comes in that pen set uh, a little bit of the peachy color to drop into that wet wash and push that paint to the side mix just a little bit of the blue into the original yellow tone to get a darker um, orangey color and just dab that in so that I would have some shadows moving on here we just took some gouache now at first i used um save a fair gouache um, i had something on my brush so it kind of muddied the first wash i made then the second wash was okay um it wasn't bright enough for me so i also grabbed some master's touch white gouache and used that in order to sprinkle stars into the background now i wanted to get all of my color laid down before i went back in with my uh, pen in order to finish everything up uh, you saw me use a brush there that should to dab a couple of bright stars into the sky and now i'm going back to those fine line markers that i used to originally draw in the sketch and i'm going to color in my bats now this is the largest uh, nib in that set is actually called large brush and I am really enjoying these pens I'm really glad I picked them up they were on sale at um, Jerry's Autorama for like 10 11 bucks and you get all of these pens in a pack with these different nibs ranging from like 0.25 all the way up to this really large brush that I'm using now and when I tell you they are really dark um, I really like them they're balanced well they seem to have a lot of ink in those barrels um 
I didn't have a hard time using them at all. And as far as the largest brush is concerned, that nib, that uh, brush nib, um, is made out of a, a pretty nice quality fiber. So it feels really smooth on the paper. Now this paper that I'm using, this is the Recollections five and a half by five and a half, um, 140 pound cold pressed watercolor uh, journal. And this is what I'm using for all of my Inktober sketches. And I will be doing a review of this little journal along with the um, flip through at the end of the month. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Remember to comment and share. Follow us on Instagram as well as the Facebook page. Remember as I tell you always, just keep painting.